In this channel, I share the lessons I come across while I'm self-learning to make my own indie apps. This video is the third in the playlist, Pinterest Clone Figma. It's a playlist of very short videos. The goal is to get an eye for good UI and UX by copying real life apps and to master Figma. In the first video, we made a quick wireframe for Pinterest homepage. In the last one, we made the header and footer components. And in this video, I will walk you through how I made the card component for the pins in Pinterest homepage. Working on this component, I had two things in mind. Not just to make a card that looks like Pinterest's, but also when I resize it. The width and height of everything stays fixed, and only the image's height will change. Just like Pinterest's design, the cards have a fixed width, but the height is different according to the image. I also wanted to later on build on it and make it interactive by creating a prototype for it without having to come back and make many changes to our component. I tried different ways of placing things, and this is the easiest I found. We will start by placing an image. So I'll press Command Shift K to place an image. Then select an image from my computer and press to place it. Also, if you have the Unsplash plugin installed, you can press Command forward slash for quick actions, type Unsplash and press enter. The Unsplash plugin will open. Search for and choose an image that you like and press on it and it will be placed inside your page. Select the image and in the design panel, make sure constraint proportions are selected and change its width to 274 pixels. For now, we might update this width in the next video when we work on the design. I will give the image a corner radius of 20 pixels. And finally, I will turn it into a component by pressing on create component button. And I will name it chord image. To make the chord title, I will grab the text tool by pressing on the T key. And I will write a title for the image. I will use the Roboto font since it's pretty close to the font used by Pinterest. So I will set the font to Roboto, bold, 25 pixels. Now for the pin owner profile image and name, first I will take an instance of the profile image component that we made in the last video. But this image is larger than what we need in this situation, so I will go back to the profile image component. I will select the image variant, and I will press on this plus button to add a new variant. I will call it image small. And I will make sure the constraint proportion is selected, and I will change the width to 40 pixels instead of 60. But this is only the frame around it, so I will press enter to select the circle inside it. Make sure constraint proportions are selected and change the width to 40 pixels. Now I will get back to the instance that we took from the profile image component. I will select it and I will change its property 1 to image small. For the username, I will press the T key to grab the text tool and write a name for the user. Font Roboto Regular 20 pixels. The profile image and username will be aligned next to each other. So instead of aligning them manually, I will select them both and press Shift A to add an auto layout to them to group them in one frame and to easily manage the alignment between them. I will go to the auto layout frame settings and I will align them to the center and left and I will make the distance between them five pixels. I will name this frame user. Finally, I will select the pin title and the user and press Shift A to add another auto layout frame to them. I'll name it pin info, make the distance between them five pixels, make sure there's no padding around them and that they are aligned to the left and center. Finally, I will select the pin info auto layout frame and turn it into a component. Next, I will take an instance of the image and an instance of the pin info, select them both and press shift A to add auto layout to them. I will name this frame card. I'll set the distance between them to 20 pixels Make sure the padding is zero. The resizing options for the card. I will leave the height to hot contents, but I will change the width to fixed width, and I will change it to 274 pixels. The pin info is resizing. I will change it to fill container, Then I will press enter to select the text inside it, and I will also change their width resizing to fill container. I'll get back to the pin info, select the text, and align it to the left. Maybe I will also change the text size of the title to 20 pixels as well. Now select the card and turn it into a, a component. And if we take an instance of it and try to resize it, the frame is moving, but the image and title are stuck in their places. So let's go back to the component, select the image and change its height resizing from fixed height to fill container. And this is exactly what we were trying to do. So if I copy this and let's bring up Unsplash, find an image that I like, now make sure the image of the card component is selected. Now we press on 
this image and it will change to it. Now I can select the instance and resize it according to the size of the image. Everything will stay in place except for the image will adjust its size. In the next video, we'll use all the components we made and we'll put it all together and create the design of the Pinterest landing page.